So my cool beauty order with the Natasha Nona concealer and the color corrector finally arrived today. So I'm gonna test them out. I'm really excited. I really do need some new concealers. But the cool beauty shipping just literally sucks. It used to be so good. The products used to arrive within five days. And now it takes like two weeks. And that's really annoying me. I don't know what happened there, but the shipping is just not good anymore. Yeah, I finally have them, so let's test them out. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It means so much to me. And now let's get into it. And I also think these launched on Club Beauty a lot later than they should have. I think they launched maybe seven days later than they should have. And then the shipping took two weeks, so... I know I'm quite late to this, but I'm still gonna try them out. And I am quite excited to see if I'm gonna like them. So I got the shades C1 in the color corrector and the shade Y2 in the concealer. There are so many um, concealer shades. I think there is 50 shades. I really struggled to make a decision on what shade to get. So I ended up going with the shade Y2. And I'm honestly not sure if this is gonna work. I was going back and forth between this one and the shade N2 and I decided to go for the yellow one because I have quite a yellow undertone and most of my concealers are pretty neutral so I thought it would be nice to have one that actually matches me a bit better. So let me read you what they say. Honestly the claims are kind of crazy. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about all these claims. The claims are the same for the concealer and the color corrector, so I'm just gonna read the concealer ones. Brightening and hydrating crease-proof serum concealer, delivering a new full performance formula with advanced skincare properties. Inspired by the best-selling Hygiene Primer Serum, this originally developed hybrid full glam corrector consists of high-tech active ingredi ingredients that work instantly and over time to brighten dark circles reduce puffness and blur the appearance of fine lines and, and wrinkles after 28 days of daily use. So they are trying to tell me that this is going to reduce my wrinkles within one month of using it. I have never heard of anything like that and <laughs> honestly, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen, but I mean, that's what they claim it does. So basically um, it says the concealer adjusts to any irregularities on the skin surface, locking in a coverage for all all day wear, specifically specifically tailored for all skin types. I have very dry skin and very dry under eyes, so we'll see if that's the truth. It says it has clinically proven results. 61% um, report a noticeable dark circles reduction. You know, we'll see. I have very dark circles and I would love for that to happen but I just don't think it will but we'll see. 51% report a significant under eye puffiness reduction, um, lightweight and natural finish anti-aging, increases skin hydration, boosts collagen synthesis, something, firmer and luminous skin. Cell detoxification, talk free, provides a firming effect, fades away dark circles, reduces eye puffness, improves skin rege re regeneration, strong antioxidant activity, fights inflammation. Like, what? I mean, those descriptions are just insane to me. Like, what even? I feel like even skincare doesn't do that, let alone a concealer. So I'm really, really skeptical about all these claims. I mean, it literally claims to do everything. It is also cruelty-free, paraben-free, and it is made in Italy. So Natasha's pro tip is when concealing under eye circles, let the concealer set for a couple of minutes after application to avoid creasing, gently blend from the outer corner of the eye inwards using a clean, dry finger. I don't really apply my concealer with my finger, so I'm probably not gonna do that, but that's her tip, I guess. Yeah, so that was a lot of claims, and obviously I can't tell if it's gonna reduce my dark circles or my or the puff my under eyes um, right now, but I'm gonna keep testing it, and maybe I'm completely wrong, and maybe it will do all of those things, but I'm just really skeptical. I got mine from Club Beauty. The price on Club Beauty is 36 euros, but I did use a discount code for 20% off. So I think I paid 30 euros for each, so 60 euros in total, which was still pretty expensive, but better than 36 euros. 
And now let's zoom in a bit more and let's finally test them out. I already applied foundation and I used the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Gobi. I'm first going to start with the correcting concealer. So let's open it. I haven't opened these yet. They literally just arrived like an hour ago. So I wanted to film with them immediately. I do really like this packaging. It has a 12 month shelf life and you get 7 milliliters of product. I do really like this packaging. I think it's a bit different for a concealer and I think it looks really nice. So I got the shade C1 and I thought that this is going to be a bit more pinky or peachy but it doesn't look that pinky or peachy in the tube but let's let's swatch it. This is what the applicator um, looks like. That's quite a unique applicator for a concealer. But I think this might work really nice. So this is the shade C1. I only use one color corrector and that is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury color corrector and this one is in the shade 2 medium. So I'm gonna swatch it next to the um, Tasha Nona concealer so you can see how they compare. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector in the shade 2 medium. So as you can see it's a lot more peachier and I thought that this one's gonna be a lot more similar to this shade but it isn't. I'm also gonna swatch the Rare Beauty Eye Brightener in the shade like medium, just for comparison. Yeah, this one is a bit more similar, but I honestly feel like they all look quite different. I do think that the shade might work nicely, so let's see. I'm just gonna use a small amount. I do really like this applicator. I feel like it's really precise, so you can really get in your inner corners if you need to. I do have to say, I'm feeling a, a burning sensation here. So I don't know what's that about, but I'm going to use the Rose Ink Concealer Brush to blend this out. I'm not going to use my fingers, I just would not do that usually, so I'm not going to do it today either. I should have done one side at a time. Oh well. Um, right away I am pretty amazed. I think the difference is pretty significant. And I think this did a better job than my Charlotte Tilbury color character, which is amazing. Okay, that is looking so good. I don't even feel like I need to go in with a concealer after this. It is a really nice shade for my skin tone as well. I feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is a bit too dark for me, but this one isn't. It just kind of blended into my skin. Let's do the other eye now. Honestly, that is so amazing. Like again, I don't own that many color correctors. I only own these two, the one from Charlotte Tilbury, Til Tilbury and the Rare Beauty one. So I'm not really, you know, that experienced when it comes to color correctors, but this looks so amazing to me. My dark circles are literally gone. It does not look dry and it is not creasing yet either. It was really hydrating on my under eyes as well. Okay, so far I'm really impressed. Now let's try out the concealer. Here's what the concealer is looking like. I love that they have different packaging so you can tell which one is a concealer and which one is a corrector. That's really nice. I really like this packaging. I think they look so cute together. So like I said, I got the shade Y2, so let's swatch it. Oh, I do really like that shade. I think that's gonna be a really nice shade. I'm gonna swatch it next to some of my concealers that I usually use. I first have the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer in the shade 4N. So you can see the Milk one is a lot more neutral. And I'm also going to swatch it next to the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in the shade 00. These are the two concealers I use most often. Wow, that looks really <laughs> light compared to the other two. So the Natasha Nona is definitely a lot more yellow. 
and is also quite a bit darker. But I do think this is actually gonna match my um, face the best. I usually use these to brighten and I think this one is gonna be really nice for spot concealing and just all over my face. Uh, I don't think it's gonna really work for my under eyes but for the rest of my face I think I think the shade is gonna be perfect. So let's try it out. Um, the corrector has creased a bit but honestly nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna ble blend that out with my beauty sponge so I can go in with the concealer. I just love this packaging. I think it looks so fancy. I don't know. I really like it. I'm gonna use it on my under eyes as well just to see how it's gonna look. Now let's do one side at a time now just to see the difference. You know what? It might actually be a bit too dark for me, but I think I can make it work. And I'm going to use that same rose ink uh, concealer brush to blend it out. Yeah, it is slightly too dark for me. I think it's still gonna work. I honestly didn't even consider getting the Y1 or the N1. I just thought that those would be way too light for me, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, that is coverage. It does not feel matte on my under eyes at all, which is really nice for my dry skin. But that is just a shade or two too dark for me. Take the beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend it out. So hopefully it's gonna blend into my skin, skin, skin a bit better. I'm kind of upset about that now because I really didn't think it was going to be too dark. But oh well. Okay, I do think it blends out fine, maybe not on my neck, but on the rest of my face it did blend out into my skin and you can't tell it's too dark. I honestly think that is pretty amazing and I think it looks really nice. Especially surprised it looks this nice on my under eyes, I did not expect that. I'm very picky when it comes to concealers, again because I have such dry under eyes, so I did not expect to like the concealer, but this is looking pretty amazing to me. You can tell the difference as well, it added quite a bit more coverage on this side, but that just looks really nice. I'm gonna do the other side now. The only thing is, it does really burn um, in some areas. For example, it burns on this spot. It is really hurting me. Um, and it also burned on this side right here. I don't know what's that about. That burns so much. But I'm just impressed how this makes my under eyes look. It really does smooth them out quite a bit. Let me just press this in quickly. Okay, here's what my under eyes are looking. Honestly, that looks so good. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I feel like it added a glow as well. It definitely did not mattify. My under eyes which I love but I know that might not be for everyone and now let's set this I'm going to use the wet n wild bare focus powder in the shade translucent just because I'm the most familiar with this powder honestly I don't think my under eyes ever looked better 
I'm gonna use the ColourPop E22 brush to set my under eyes with this. I'm gonna use this um, Real Technique setting brush to set the rest of my face. Doesn't that look just so good? Okay, I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my base and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, I just finished the rest of my makeup and this eye is creasing quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that. This one is a bit better, but this one is creasing quite a bit. So I'm gonna blend these creases out. I'm gonna take some of this uh, same powder on a beauty sponge. I have been doing that a lot more lately. I feel like my under eyes have been creasing a lot more. I think it's just because the weather is getting a bit hotter, so everything is kind of creasing more on me. So I just take some of this powder on my damp beauty sponge and I press this on my under eyes. But I do feel like this helps quite a lot. And also does smooth my skin out a bit more. So this is the finished look. I really like how this concealer is looking. So obviously this is first impressions and I really don't know how I'm feeling about them yet, but I have really enjoyed this color corrector. Um, I think the difference was quite amazing. It covered my dark circles really well, a lot better than my Charlotte Tilbury or my Rare Beauty um, color correctors. So, so far, I have been really impressed by this. I think it just makes a very huge difference for my very dark circles. So I'm really excited that I have a new color corrector to use, and I really do enjoy this shade as well. But I do think that they should have a lighter option as well, because I don't think that this would work for a lighter skin tone than mine. And now for the concealer, I love it, so I didn't get a lighter shade. I really think the shade is just a touch too dark for me. I do think I can still get it to work, but if I really end up liking this concealer, I might get the shade Y1. I like the undertone, it really matches my yellow undertone perfectly. I do think it will be perfect for summer, but for right now, it's just, just a bit too dark. But yeah, I have really liked how this looks as well. I did not expect to like the concealer, honestly. I, I did expect to like the color character, but I didn't expect to like the concealer. You know, I'm very picky when it comes to concealers. I have a few that I use all the time that I trust. Today it's looking pretty amazing. It looked better than any of my other concealers that I have, so I really like that. And I do really love that I have concealers with yellow undertones as well. I feel like that's so hard to find. Most concealers are either neutral or pink. And I just love that there is a yellow option as well. Because my undertone is very yellow and sometimes neutral concealers can look a bit odd. And I do love that, that she has 50 shades. Even though it is a bit overwhelming, I feel like there's a shade for everyone, which is really nice. And one thing that I really, really like is these applicators. They are so good. You can get so precise with them and I feel like they leave a perfect amount of product on your skin. It's not too much, it's not too small, it's a perfect amount. And I just love the applicators. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling after my first time trying them out. So yeah, so far, so good. I'm quite impressed and I'm definitely gonna keep testing them. I'm really excited that I have two new concealers because I really, because my concealer collection is quite small. I only have three or four that I use. So I'm really excited to have some more to play with and I'm definitely gonna keep you updated. So yeah, that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and bye. And the color and blur the and blur the appear. Uh, it covered my dark circle. It covered my dark circle. It covered my dark circle.